Hi, Floss Tube. Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching, Stitching, episode 338. Four plus four plus fifteen plus fifteen plus two hundred and seventy-five plus twenty-five is three thirty-eight. Cause math. I almost said is math. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Yes. Um, Hello, people. We had one astute viewer last week who realized... Who we, wasn't distracted by the bunny masks and realized I didn't do the math part. Uh, yeah, we were distracted by the bunny masks. Yes, we were. If you weren't, at least we were. Uh-huh. 100%. Happy Sunday, everybody. Yes. Hello, people. Happy April. Yep. Because we are in April, believe it or not. Uh -huh. We it's sure are. Yes, ma'am. It's along this year. Yep, absolutely. Um... We hope you're doing well, mm -hmm. uh, and we hope that you are uh, getting a lot of stitches in. Yes, ma'am. We hope you had a good week. We have done some stitching, and that is what yep. this channel is all about. Yep. So, um, she's my mom. I'm her daughter. Right. If you're new, welcome. We're here to talk about cross stitch. And um, we're going to start off with a few things having to do with StitchCon. So if she's coming, kids, yeah. she's coming. And if you couldn't care less, uh, five, Don't worry. five minute uh, fast forward ought to do. Go it. get a snack. Come yeah. back. We'll be yeah. done. Yeah. Um. So, uh, StitchCon twenty twenty four, fast approaching. Right. Um, and the big thing happening is uh that the first of three. StitchCon Spirit Wear Sales is starting tomorrow, Tuesday, this week. Um, so that's cool. The um, I'm excited. I mean, I can't wait. So the when I say Spirit Wear, I mean T-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, we are using the same company that we have for years in the past called. BSN Sports. Um, it's a local situation, and so we have a great relationship with them, and we really like them. And so there will be a link to the StitchCon Spiritwear shop on the StitchCon Facebook page, which is for paid attendees only. And then there will also be a link to the Spiritwear shop on the StitchCon website. Right. We have had... Um uh, a smattering of folks who will be interested in spirit wear, even though they're not attending. Yeah. Just to more or less show feel like support. They're part of it. Yeah. Feel like they're a part of it, even though th for whatever reason they will yeah. not be attending. It's okay. Um, and perhaps there might be somebody who never picked up spirit wear from prior years. Yeah. Uh, the year will be different on the apparel, but yeah. still it will say Stitch Con. So. Yes. So the. Um, the spirit wear, like Pam said, will have the date on it. Um, we typically try to not have the swag be dated. Um, so, like, when you arrive at StitchCon, you will receive a welcome gift from us. Typically, that stuff is not dated. There obviously are instances where it is, but most of the time it's not. So, if you want something that marks the year that you came, um, then spirit wear is the way to go. So, um... I say first spare wear because there will be multiple spare wear sales. They typically last around a week to 10 days. Um, all of the like dates when it starts, when it ends will all be posted um, in the StitchCon Facebook page and on the website, of course. Um, but, and I don't know those off the top of my head. And so I don't want to speak to it here. Um, so we are doing one next week which is believe it or not the second week of april and then um we're doing one the fourth week of april and the either first or second week of may these april spare wear sales the items that you purchase will go directly to you mm -hmm. okay so then the third one the one in may the items that are purchased will come to us and then you will pick them up when you arrive at stitchcon if for whatever reason, if you order Spearware in the third sale and you do not come to StitchCon, whether you are not a paid attendee at all or something happens and you unfortunately cannot attend, we are more than happy to mail your Spearware to you. So all you have to do is pay for shipping. Um, so 
There you go. Yep. Um, and let me just double check this here because um, Barbara did text me the link to it. So I might have the dates for that. Um, okay, it closes April. Um, oh, it's only for a few days. Okay. So I'm going to double check this. So I'm not going to say anything here. So, okay. Awesome. So, um, we'll post that and get that all set and ready for you. Okay. So yay for that. Um, that is pretty much the only update as it, well, the other update is that I have sent off the list of attending floss tubers for both weekends to um, our social media girl, Melinda. Uh, and she is creating the page on the StitchCon website for links to all the attending floss tubers of StitchCon 2024. Right. So as soon as that page is live, then we will share it on our floss tube. We'll share it everywhere that we need to share yeah. it. Um, and then, so remember back to last fall, when StitchCon invoicing started and the wait list went live, all the things, okay? That was five, six months ago. So if you are someone who, when you registered for StitchCon, did not have a floss tube channel, yeah. and now you do, yeah, and you want your name added to that list, if you go look at it when it's posted and you're like, my floss tube channel's not on here, um, that's probably what happened, is that, you, the channel was created in the meantime. Mm -hmm. So um, just send us an email uh, at the Citron email or send me a message, whatever, and we'll get you added for sure. So, and your name tag will reflect your foster channel name too. So, absolutely. Uh, so there's that. Yeah. We, um, I say this every year, but um, just to reiterate, um, we are not at liberty to disclose when a particular floss tuber is coming to StitchCon, whether that's weekend A or weekend B. Um, that is personal information in our opinion, and it's not our right to share that information with anyone. Um, without their permission. So um, if you are someone who is coming to StitchCon and you look at that list and you say, oh my gosh, my absolute favorite floss tuber is coming to StitchCon. I hope it's the same weekend as me. You can reach out to them. You can ask them, but please do not ask us because we're not going to tell you. So no. um, obviously Pam and I will be at both weekends, sort of our job. So we will be there, but um, everyone else um, it's up to them to share. So, yeah. um, I know that there are people who are coming that have openly shared. So, oh, yeah. you know, it's not like they don't keep it a secret. big secret, we just keep it. but yeah, that is on them to share if they so choose. So, right. um, because, and how many about do we have each weekend of floss tubers? Um, like individual floss tube people. So like, I no, can, no channels. Oh, channels. Oh, well, whatever number I'm, you, yeah, the people is about a quarter. Uh, like 25% of each weekend's attendance. And each weekend's attendance is, is 300. 300. Yeah. So a quarter of 300 is 250. No, wait a minute. Nope. No. Nope. I, I can't it's 75. Remember. 75. Yeah. Half of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Pam. We'll get through it. Anyway, that's so, yeah. people. That's, you know, people who so, like, are we, on a... We are two we, people. We would be two. But yeah. more channel. Right. You know what I mean? So, Absolutely. very exciting. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. So, okay. anyway. So, that is the StitchCon update as of right now. Right. Yes. All right. Back to our usual segments. And let's do a hashtag. Let's do a hashtag. All right. So, our hashtag here at Just Keep Stitching is hashtag Stitch Harmony. It is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. So if you are someone who does not have a stitching friend uh, that lives local to you and you would like our help in facilitating that situation, um, then please just leave a comment below on this video. Tell us your name, where you live, and then we pick one of those comments every week to share. Yes, we do. So, who is this week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter, Pamela? This week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter is a lovely gal named Kitty the Selkie Stitcher, 4859. Mm. And this is what she wrote. Hi, Pam and Steph. Hello. Hello. After over a year of faltering, I am finally putting my name in the jar 
for hashtag Stitch Harmony. I thought that was a cute way of putting it. Oh, that's cute. My name is Kitty, and I live in Knoxville, Tennessee. Oh, baby. I am confident there are stitchers in my area, but without an LNS, I have not had any luck finding a stitchy group or mm. making stitchy friends. I hear that. Sometimes I meet people in my life who know how to stitch, but so far when I start talking about linen dyers and market releases, their eyes glaze over. Really? I get nervous about reaching out to other stitchers because I'm a queer, child-free person in my 30s, and I worry I won't be wanted slash accepted oh my in God, I hate that other you. groups in town. I dream of crockpot stitch nights, oh. holiday smalls exchanges, long talks about designers and floss, and maybe even one day we could plan a private treat, retreat in Gatlinburg. A stitcher can dream. Amen, baby. Please help, Pam and Steph. P.S. My stitchy IG is selkie underscore x stitcher. If anyone wants to DM me there instead of YouTube. So, Kitty. I love this. I'm so thankful. Yes. That you finally. Put uh, your name in the jar. Put your name in the jar. I love this. And, um. So, so this is how it works. This is so, how it works. If your ears perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance of Knoxville, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and you have room in your stitching group for Sweet Sweet Kitty, and it's K I T T I E, yep. uh, then please comment below on this video and say, Hi, Kitty. My name is, insert name here, I live in around nearby within driving distance of Knoxville, Tennessee. And I would love to stitch with you. And then it's up to you, Miss Kitty, to read through the uh, comments on our video and see if anyone has reached out to you. I feel very confident that someone yes. will. Yes. Um, there are a lot of stitchers in the in Tennessee in general, but in Knoxville for sure. Oh, so, absolutely. So yeah. I will, um, of course, link her. Um, not I would link her YouTube account, but I will also. Um, put in her Instagram in case someone yeah. wants to send her a message on Instagram too. Yeah, That's a great add on. So thank you. Absolutely. For that. So Knoxville stitchers unite. unite. I started it this time. You did. That's Man. very good. Well, cause I was just thinking, cause this is a paper that I usually, that I realize I need when making the description box. Oh, and so, so no, I, I, it's a new thing that I realized. So, okay. good. so good. Anyway. Okay. Let me get my, <clears throat> <clears throat> my kazoo. Yeah. Need the kazoo. <clears throat> Be -be -be. That means it's time for Pam's pin comment. Yes, what I is am. Pam's pin comment, you ask? Who cares about Pam's pin comment? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what Pam's pin comment special? is clearly my comment that I have pinned to the top of all the comments after last week's video. Yep. Because it... Um, Warm the cockles of my heart. Oh, we love a cockle warm. Made me, <laughs> <laughs> made me, made me chuckle. Yeah. Just. I mean, me... we don't want a cold cockle. No. We... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> uh, anyway, oh, this person is just going to die yeah. when they finally. I mean, please don't. Hear their name. But this was a comment from a lovely gal named Cheryl Hobson, 6633. Hello, Cheryl. And it was just a nice comment. Yes. I liked it, Cheryl. Yeah. She said, I love the fact that you, Pam and Steph, give things away, but I have all I need. However, I find that so awesome. Well, I really love the fact that you help find stitching friends. Thanks. I am so glad to get to know you both, even if I never meet you. Well, that's very kind. And then... Here's the clinker. Oh, boy. Any fan of the Red Sox, our family. Amen. Besides the cross-stitch. Blessings. Well, Cheryl, that's very kind of you. So, you know what got me, Cheryl. Obviously. Clearly. But that's anyway, awesome. uh, thank you for anybody who uh, took the time to leave a comment. We don't always respond to everyone, but we do read them all, and we sincerely appreciate the interaction we off sure do. camera. We really, really do. Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, this? Yes. I just realized that I never showed the map for Knoxville. Oh, that's right. Let's pause. Do people know where Knoxville is? Oh, I feel like they probably do. Um, I think people do, but let's not depart from our usual... From our standard operating procedure? Correct. Okay. And SOP. Yes. 
Okay. Just in case. So maybe it, some of the people that watch us in other countries would be would be interested because they've heard us talk about Nashville. Yeah, Knoxville's in eastern Tennessee. It is. Um, okay, so there is Tennessee, and then there's a little red dot over here. That is Knoxville. Okay, mm -hmm. so Nashville is like north central kind of situation. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's quite near, it's quite near Gatlinburg. And Pigeon Forge. And Pigeon Forge, if you're familiar. Yes. Uh, as a vacation or, or fun destination, Dollywood, yeah, all yeah, of that yeah, yeah. stuff. Great Smoky and Mountains. And unfortunately, they did have a very nice cross-stitch shop uh, the, in yeah. the area called the Daisy Barrel, which unfortunately was closed. Was it the Daisy Barrel, Pam? Not the Daisy Barrel. The Dixie Darling. The Dixie Darling. I had my D's mixed up. Yeah. I hate when that happens. <laughs> uh, so that is Knoxville. Yeah. And that is Pigeon Forge. Gatlinburg is just south of Pigeon Forge. Um, you might have heard of the town of Sevierville. Yeah. Um, that's north of Pigeon Forge. Um, it's a it's a great area. It's where was great. the town that we went to? Where we had the retreat? Yeah. At Jennifer's? Um, gosh, I can't remember now. Sweetwater. Sweetwater, Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. Our crockpot crew used to uh, retreat there until um, Jennifer uh, and her... It's now called the Whistle, Whistle Stop Manor. Oh, interesting. It's a bed and breakfast now. Oh, yeah. That's where we first started going on retreats as a crockpot That is crew. Wild. And it, Yeah, um, whistlestopmanor.com. And that was, um, anyway. if you remember, the Whistle Stop Stitcher, mm -hmm. who... Um, uh, has made videos in the past and has done some designing as well. Yep. Uh, Jennifer and Kevin, I think his name was. they her husband. Yeah. Uh, owned the um, the whistle stop. It was a yeah quilting retreat, and we um, we yep. were fortunate to spend how many years retreating there? I think two or three. Two or three. Yeah. So that's also in that area. Yes. So so okay. retreating is it, retreating in Gatlinburg is is a great idea. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yep. Do you want me to do this again? Yeah. Okay. All right. That is our signal for our silver and gold uh, segment. Yes. And um, we use the lyric from a song that the Girl Scouts used to teach you called um, Make New Friends. Mm -hmm. Uh one is silver and the other gold. Mm -hmm. So we pick someone on the floss tube um, horizon that is bright and shiny and new. And yep. then we also um, let you know about someone who's been around on floss tube a little bit longer. And from here on until StitchCon, we're going to feature floss tube channels that we haven't already shouted out before that will be in attendance at StitchCon. Yes, ma'am. So, um, we're going to start with silver. Okay. And oh that. my goodness, we are slow Obsessed. to jump on this train. Let me tell you, um, they were first brought to my attention by way of our friend Jen, um, who is Spooner Rooney Stitcher oh, yeah, yeah. on Instagram. Because She's stitching their thing, isn't she? Huh? Isn't she stitching their thing? Well, she highlighted it okay, on okay. Instagram. That's what I thought, yeah, yeah. Uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about Amity and Aaron, who are the Hathaway Stitchers. And uh, the reason I found them is because, first of all, I fell in love with these two free designs that Amity uh, has put out there. But let me tell you, first of all, number one, they live in northern Kentucky. Perfect. I, I would this. like someone to um, tell me, maybe you might be able <laughs> okay. to, what do you not off to the top you, of your head today, but how many floss tube channels mm -hmm. are uh, affiliated with, in some capacity, with keepsakes? Oh, sure. Because sure. there are a ton. There are and a ton. And these two are the latest because they live in Northern Kentucky mm -hmm. and... Uh, Keepsakes is the LNS for most stitchers in Northern Kentucky. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Amity and Aaron are sisters, and they have launched their floss tube channel in January. This is April. It is April, yeah. They have made a grand total of four videos 
They are fantastic. They're fantastic. And um, Amity is the creative designer half of the duo. Mm -hmm. And uh, she and Erin are great fun to watch. I mean, I think they're both creative. They are. They okay. are. Okay. But, uh, and super supportive of each other. I yeah. love that. When yeah. you find a stitching uh, YouTube, a floss tube, with two people, yeah. which I've always said, as long as we've done floss tubes, yeah. I would never do it myself. Right. So, we love a duo, and to see such wonderful support that each of them give each other. Yeah, it's really is, nice. It's fantastic. Yeah. So, they have somewhat different stitching tastes yeah. yep. in their subject matter. Mm -hmm. But they but share, great. but they share a lot of the same taste too. For sure, for sure. And, um, and they're funny. They're funny, and they laugh at each other. Yeah. And also, um, if you like us, you'll like them. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of how I feel about it. Right. Um, they are going to be at StitchCon. Yep. Which is going to be fabulous. Yes. They are roughly Steph's age. Yes. Uh, mid to late 40s. Really? No, uh, 30s. Sorry, I like, 30s. Oh, 30s. I was thinking that yeah. one of them just turned 40. Yeah. So, uh, mid to late 30s. And um, so they tend to be more techy in the sense of more digital uh, designs. Like PDFs and, and stuff. PDFs. It's rare, I think, that they Should might a purchase paper a paper pattern at Keepsakes when they come up. Yeah. Um, and they also um, use a pattern keeper when they can. Mm -hmm. And um, they, so they can tell you a percentage of completion. Yeah, yeah, et cetera, yeah. Et cetera. Which is cool. And um, I have to say one thing, and I'm going to address this to the twins, because um, we have two or three models at Keepsakes that are yeah. Twin Peak Primitives. Yeah. And the Shahrazad. Oh, yeah. That was a market release last year, mm, I think, or two the or year three before. Years. Yeah, um, was above the mantle yep. when you first walk in. Yeah, and I think it, when it was released, was. I fell in love with it, but I didn't hear a whole lot of buzz about it on it social is, media. At least. On social media, it is huge. Yeah, giant. I bought it, mm -hmm. and in one of their videos. Amity says <clears throat> when she came to Keepsakes and mm -hmm. saw it hanging over the mantle, she'd already checked out, you know, yeah. uh, uh, paid her bill yeah. before leaving. But she turned around and saw Shahrazad hanging over the mantle mm -hmm. and she went and she said, I can't leave. I have to have it. Yeah. So uh, isn't that exciting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's Because super cool. I love that. Part. Uh, you know me. I get so excited when she sees it. It's so funny. Well, I like somebody that is. Uh, attracted to something that not everybody is stitching. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That is why I kind of was gravitated to it yeah. because I thought I'm going to stitch that, and um, yeah. I'm not going to have a it. whole herd of people following suit. You sure, know what sure, I mean? Sure. Yeah, sure. I, I, I'm not saying that correctly, but anyway. Okay. Right. So there are silver. Yes. Silver. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Baby? I don't know. Okay, and our third, and our third? gold, not third. Uh, <laughs> Give me a long one, people. <laughs> our gold floss tuber is um, two tall stitchers, mm -hmm. TWO, yes. because it's a mother daughter duo. Which we and love. They obviously. are in the Indianapolis area. Yep. Um, it's a, uh, I did say mother daughter. Yep. Carol is the mom. Yep. Jennifer is the daughter. Yes. Jennifer is uh, married with Trump. kids. Um, in the grades school <laughs> range. What am I doing now? In the grades school area. <laughs> well, with young kids. Young kids. There you okay. go, Pam. Uh, Carol, I think, works part time at uh, a shop in the Indianapolis area. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Persnickety or something like that. I'm it's not sure. Um, they've been making videos since March of 2021. So they've been around yeah. about three, three years. years. That's great. They are definitely multi-crafters. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think they 
go back and forth between quilting and stitching cool, pretty cool. regularly. Yeah. Um, they also host a couple of retreats a year. Cool. Up in the Indy area. Are they stitching retreats or are they quilting retreats or are they both? They, good chance they're both, but I don't remember. No, exactly. Um, Jennifer, the mm -hmm. daughter, yeah. is coming to StitchCon yes, in June. And together they have made 53 videos in That's the three awesome. years they've been on YouTube. So, That's great. Um, go give both channels some love. Yes, um, please do. I uh, I think you'll enjoy both channels quite a bit. Yes, so, we sure do. Um, Can't wait there to you go. see them at StitchCon. Yeah, absolutely. All righty. All right, let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. What have you been stitching on this week, Steph? Okay, well, if I'm being honest, I don't know if I had, if what I'm about to show you of this project is any different than what you saw last week. So, but I thought to myself, well, just in case, yeah. even if it's right. four stitches, I'm going to show it anyway. Okay. Um, so, my March, one of my March Whipco goals our goal, Whipco Projects was Spring Moon by Plum Street Samplers. And uh, I am stitching this as called for on the 36 count baked clay from Fox and Rabbit. And I should post a picture of this. Um, I think I might have finished the flower. I don't know. I just don't I know. I like how the white pops on it. Yeah. So that is the point of me putting it away. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the camera, of course, is washing it out a bit. It's the fabric is a lot darker than yeah. Um, it's showing up on camera, but yeah, the white does pop. Yeah, right. it pops really well. So mm -hmm. um, I love this project, but uh, I said to myself, I said, well, let's wait and see what the Whipco numbers are that are called for, and if. And neither of those projects really speak to me, then I will continue to work on Spring Moon. But um, the projects called to me. So yeah. um, it is what, what it happens. is. Yep. So everything's got to get stitched. So, you know. Okay. So I didn't really want to spend a ton of time on that because I wasn't, I feel like there's really no difference from last week. But okay. Yeah. So that is everything called for, called for threads, all the things. Um, spring Moon. Okay. So. That will go back in the whip bucket. And then uh, the whip go numbers were called for. And so both of the projects, this was kind of unique, but both of the projects that were called for me for April, <coughs> the amount of progress I had in them was literally identical. I had put one thread to start the project into it. And then I had never gone back to either of them. So it wasn't really a matter of like, oh, well, I can finish this one or whatever, right. whatever. It was just like, well, you, I want to. You might have thought when you put them on your Whipco board. That that's why. Prompt you to really cover some area. Correct. Which is why I put them on the Whipco right, board. Right, right. So, um, and so I just thought to myself, well, which one am I'm more gravitating towards right now? And then I'll work on this for half the month and then the other one for the yeah, other half and see how it goes. Yeah. So the first one that was called is from Artful Offerings and it is called Red Fox Vineyard. Love it. Um, he's just so cute. Dapper. Uh, very. And so if you are new here back in 2020, in the spring of 2020, um, during the Things were looking pretty bleak, if yeah. you recall. <laughs> they were, yeah. Uh, we spent a lot of time at home, you know. And um, the bright spot to that period of lockdown for us was the fact that we had a very large fox family living under our front porch. And so there were babies playing everywhere, and it was just so amazing yeah it was. um and so ever since then i've had just sort of this like love and adoration for mm -hmm. foxes mm -hmm. so um i am not a huge drinker i don't drink at all frankly but um i mean just look at him <laughs> and i think i talked for a while of like maybe changing the word vineyard to something else i haven't really decided if i still want to do that i think i might just leave it in to be honest i think you know i had a thought uh-oh 
somebody's going to chime in. Uh -huh. But isn't there an Aesop fable? Do you know of Aesop fables? I know. Yeah, of course. About fo a fox and grapes. There is. The fox and the grapes is what it's called. I think you're right. Yeah. There's a so, prairie schooler chart that's the fox and the grapes. Oh. It was on a card. Okay. You that, stitched yes. it. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Light dawns on Marblehead. Wow. Anyway, um, so I was thinking if you wanted to replace the word vineyard, maybe something that had to do with that fable. Yeah, that would be fun. Would be more appropriate. That would be. Since you don't drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also, if you want a happy hour wall. Well, if you wanted to contribute toward it. Toward so, it. Yep, that's yeah. true. Um, so, anyway. So, those that are tried and true and pay very close attention to all the things that we do yeah. will be kind of surprised when I show you what I have done. Because yeah. I do not know why. I, so, I started this back in I in 2020. You did? Oh. I did. Yep. Oh. It was either 20 or 2021. When anyway. did it come out? 2018. Okay. Um, and I, cause I started it at the Startober at Lisa's. Son of a gun. Okay. Yes. And I don't know why, but I decided that I was going to start, literally what I did was I started center over here with the grapes. So like I folded my fabric in half and then counted up and over to the grapes. Don't do that. And then put your piece away for mm, four years. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was like, I don't even know what direction this is supposed to go in. Yeah. So yeah. I obviously knew that I had cut my fabric appropriately. So yeah. what I did was I just said, screw it. And went to the top left. Yeah. And started there. Yeah. So. Because it has a good border. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, this is, so yeah, I've been working on this. Monday was the first. So mm -hmm. all week. So. Yeah. Yes. Looking so good. So cute. Yeah. So cute. It was sort of like an anteater at the moment, but um, <laughs> it's a lot more involved. I don't know if you can tell, but this whole part of him here is checkerboard. See? Um, and I am a psychopath when it comes to checkerboard things, as I do each row individually. Uh, until I get to like the end and then I don't do it individually but I just wanted to get down to his snout and to put his nose and his eyes in and then I did that uh, leaf while we were at Lisa's last night and the border is really 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 fun I just wanted to like have some fox to show yeah. so I mean it's, it's, the season. it's been one week so I've got another week to go on it so I think that um I want, I really wanted to have some purple in for the video, so I'm sorry that I don't have that, but next week I should have some, if not all of the grapes done, so, um, yeah, because, what are you stitching it on? Oh, I am stitching this on, 40 count, it was just literally a mystery piece of fabric that oh, I had in my stash, the call, so good though, the call for is putty from Week Style Works. Mm. Um, thirty count. Are you sure that's not putty? I'm a hundred percent sure oh, it's not putty. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, because it's not Week Style Works. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I liked this sort of background that was like a little bit beige, a little bit green. Like I see a green cast. Definitely. So that's why I went with this. Yeah. Matchy matchy. I do think that my choice in fabric is a little bit more green than putty, um, but I love it nonetheless. Oh, yeah. So, um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it will be fun to go. I, the, I'm going to leave the words till the end so that I don't have to think about it right, <laughs> right now. Right. Um, It'll be a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I got to stitch that whole fox. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The you whole got, part of the piece. You got a ways. Yes. So, that is... My fox bag, mm -hmm. um, you know, because I have only 700 fox project bags. Um, but look, it's even got the mm -hmm. the little fox charm on mm -hmm. it, so cute with the acorns. Oh, it's amazing! Mm -hmm. And if you paid me a million dollars, I couldn't tell you who gave me this bag, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, so those were my whips, okay, for this week.
All right. Uh, I am focusing on. Mm. Yeah, she is. The sale that I am hosting, mm -hmm. which started last summer. Pam Survival Sale. Uh, commemorating the 30 years since my breast cancer diagnosis. Um, and the anchor pattern, although you don't have to use this one, was from Praiseworthy Stitches, and it was called Simple Gifts Courage. They have a number of these in the series under Simple Gifts, and yep. this is the one for Courage. Yep. I am stitching mine on 32 count Anya Even Weave from yep. Under the Sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. And I am using the called for two colors of Gentle Arts, um, Gentle Arts Rose Garden and Tea Rose. Mm -hmm. So mine um, is more, uh, or I should say less imaginative than a lot of people. Um, well, the called for is beautiful, so. Right. And I am thrilled. And yeah, you should be. It's gorgeous. She's getting there. She's getting I'm, there, people. I'm getting there, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I have reached the bottom edge. So this is where I am, and that huge motif down near the needle miner. Wasn't that? Didn't I say last week you should get it done for next week? Yeah, and I was and right down did. to the minute, but I did it because yep. yep. I thought I could maybe get it done uh, at least as last night. But of course, there's more talking than stitching when we're together. Isn't it incredible? That was massive. Yeah. Obviously. Was it symmetrical at least? Holy heck. Um, for the most part. Well, for the most part. For the most part. Um, so, yeah. And I'm not personalizing it any more than changing 2013 to 2023. Yep. My initials happen to already be in the piece, so... Right at the top where yep. they should be. Yep. And, of course, the lovely Pam and Bob... Uh, from P and B, uh, put out a line of needle minders mm -hmm. to go with, which we will always be thankful for them. Absolutely. And you know, I can sort of see the end of this. Which I can. Is, which is exciting. Which is really all that matters. I'm gonna be going now left to the other corner. Oh yeah. And okay, that so involves, what's the next goal? Well, uh, we'll see what the week brings. Okay. But. Um, they don't look necessarily uh, too uh, intimidating. No. Mm -mm. And there's a lot of space between the motifs. Yeah. So I'm not going to promise, but there's a slight chance I could finish this in another week. Oh, If not, boy. I'll come very, very close. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So. Fantastical. There you go with that. Yeah. Um, I also worked on my first <laughs> you, I had to think oh that was the thinking look okay the first whip go call for April yeah which mm. was from the lovely Beth at Summerhouse Summer House Stitch Works. She was our featured designer at Stitch Away. And yep. She's such a lovely person. She's so lovely. These were um, put out in 2021. She always does a Fragments in Time series, and they're published individually. What year is this? 2021. Did okay. I say that? I can't I remember. I thought I just did. Sorry. I anyway, uh, she provided a free border. Yep, on her website. And I'm stitching mine on... Garden Path from Color and Cotton, which may be a monthly it was, and might not well, what be. What does the tag say? Uh, May 2021. Fabric Club, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, but it's a good. Uh, oh, it's so good. Neutral. Yes. And <clears throat> I had it on my whip go because it is close to being finished. So close. Um, I had two more blocks to do, and one of them. So, like, if you look at the month of April, mm -hmm. and I split the month in half yeah. between the two WIPCO calls, uh -huh. so if I were to be super, um, 
I don't know, organized, whatever, would be to do one square on the first week and one square on the second week. Sure. And meet my goal and finish my piece. And I think that's what's going to happen. I so this is how it more. looks totally. Let me do this. Here, Pammy. Just here. And this one is totally full coverage. And I finished it uh, end of last week. They all have individual titles. And I can't tell you. Yes, I can. So, Stephanie, <laughs> you want to point them out? Yeah, I'm sure. Done? I'll go across. Hold on. i got to find the right sheet of paper there. Okay. So, the first one is Sunrise. Okay. The second one is a pink, which is a type of ship. Cool. The third one is the Kraken. Yep. Number four is Widow's Walk. Then you go to the second row. Yep. And that is Mermaid. Yep. Second to that is Remember Me. And that was sort of a, um, like, a seaman would leave this with his wife. Okay. Uh, or a wife might make this to give to her husband who was going off to sea. I'm not sure. Maybe it went in both directions. Okay. And then this one I just finished is Day's End. Okay. And then what's the last one look like? And the last one is... Oh, that one. That's pretty. This one, My Anchor. And Makes sense. I think this will go a lot quicker because it's it's really not full coverage. I mean, it's pretty full, though. Look well, at the back. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm kind of on a roll with this. Yeah, so oh, for sure, for sure. I'm doing pretty well. Yes, absolutely. I agree. So I'm thinking maybe yeah. I might get this done by next week. Well, wow. I'm not setting myself a whole lot of goals. Yeah, you're setting yourself up for trouble. I might be reading a lot, listening to a lot of audiobooks and watching a lot of floss, too. But yep. anyway. But that's okay. But that's okay. Um, I love this. Yeah, <clears throat> I love this. I showed too. it to Beth. I took it hey. to... St I gotta put that in there. Yeah, so I took it to Stitch Away in January to show yep. Beth and yeah. tell her um, how much I enjoy stitching it. Absolutely, and the free border is on her website, which I'll link below for right. you. So, um, the other thing that was a whip that I worked on was one of my twenty-four starts in twenty twenty-four. It is from Carriage House Samplings, and it is early main pin cushion mm -hmm. it is very primitive and this picture is absolutely horrendous it is <laughs> when um, you pull the threads you right. know what I mean um, stitching this on 32 count ran from mm -hmm. PTP and it is so primitive there is so much space between the characters it's yeah there's a lot of counting that if you miscount it's frustrating but do you think that you could also just fudge it? Yes, but... But that's not what Pam does. I would always... No. Absolutely. So I hear you. Go to my grave. <laughs> anyway. Go to my grave. Anyway, so I'm very close to finishing this one as well. Pam, stop it. I know, I need to shut up. But also, I? that's so much fabric. I know. Oh, well, you have the two rows above it. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I have two more rows, so it'll be centered. I, I mean, I don't know why I, I just know. said that. I'm the one that gave you the damn fabric. <laughs> But anyway, um, I did change one color from the called for because it just wasn't showing up on the sure, fabric. Sure, sure. We went a little bit darker. Stephanie found it for mm -hmm. me. And uh, sorry for the crease there. Um, but uh, someone asked me if I was going to make it into a pincushion. It's too big for a pincushion. You could have a... Strictly speaking. I mean, you could make it into a larger pillow. Well, I think I might, or I think I might put it on top of a box. Okay. Um, or have it embedded into a the front of a project bag, perhaps. Sure, that's a great idea. Something like that. Sure, great um, idea. But I don't think it's going to be a cushion or or a, a pillow. A pillow. Got it. Um, but again, that's down the road. And it calls for MPIs, which you're using DMCs. Um, it calls. Because that's what I bought for, for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm using the DMCs. Yeah, because there's literally like four colors there's that no, use less than four stitches. There's no stitches. point. 
No. I mean, unless you have a broad NPI stash, right. you know what I mean, which we don't. So. Right. Right. And okay. then I have a new start that we'll get to in a minute. Why? Because it's whips. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's what we do in the whip portion of the program that's right. is we show that's the right. whips. So, um, this is one of my 24 starts in 2024. And when did you start this? I started it on, did you know there was oh boy. a National Tartan Day? And it was Saturday, the 6th of April. Love this for you. And so, because I have both Scottish and Irish ancestry, um, and you don't see too many, you see a lot of Irish, you know, with St. Patrick's and everything, you see mm -hmm. a lot of Irish ancestry designs, uh, but you don't see too many that are Scottish themed. Cool. And this is this from is so um, Tracy at Ink Circles, and it is called Thistle Crown. Isn't it so pretty? Oh, I love it. And so I got going on it. I am stitching it on. Where's all my info? Do you know what this is? I... Um, yep, it's in here. You're stitching it on oh. 32 count yeah. linen from Be Stitch Me in the color One More Reproduction. Yep, yep, yep. Which is one of her best colors, in yes. my opinion. Yes. And this is what I did before we went over to Lisa's in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I got started up in the corner and look at those colors it, man. they're so good there's three greens they're all glorianas and one purple i mean look at this neutral fabric is she not a beaut yeah oh so good so the combination of the three greens and then the pop of purple is just yeah. gonna be stunning i can't wait to see I it really come to life yeah I'm so gonna, are you gonna um so these are my you know bags of Gloriana. Gloriana. Yeah. Yep. Am I gonna do what? Um are you going to how much are you gonna work on that? And are you gonna do the whole border first? I'll answer the second one first. No. No. I typically do not <laughs> She hates do, doing the border first. I don't hate it, but I don't see the point. And I think it helps with your placement of your not placement with the progress of your stitching yeah yeah yeah. To I see have that. the contents within the border sure stitched juxtaposed against your border so, so you can like check so you can check i get it should this line up with this place in the border so then why don't you do the whole border first so then you'd have well because you have those points I, of reference i'm always all double checking where i am oh. and if okay. and you'll find if you're new to stitching, no sometimes in order to make it a, a certain shape of border mm -hmm. that the designer might not always oh be the same yeah yeah uh, design each little sure I see what you're saying pearl yeah, or yeah, yeah. whatever the same yes they want it to come out exactly rectangular or exactly square yes absolutely so I hear you I hear what you're saying you. You have a tendency to get on automatic pilot with your border, right? And then to get it all done, and, and, and then you it, get that's F. how it don't match. That's how it don't match. No, that's so, how it don't match. Anyway, and this is uh, my adorable little bag from our friend Suzanne. It's so cute. So me, Suzanne. Um, it's just so Suzanne, but that's and, okay. Um, it's what? It's just so Suzanne. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, I Come was on, thinking girl. of something else. Um, clearly. Yeah, I know. Obviously. <laughs> Twenty other thousand things. Yeah. So, um, yay for that. So I got another start, uh, going. That's your first start of April. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. And I have another one coming up pretty soon in April. When? I think the 15th. What is it? Whatever date Patriot's Day is on. Oh, okay. So it's a patriotic. Yay for that. And if you don't know what Patriot's Day is, Google it. And stay tuned. Because we'll talk about it, obviously. Very important. It is very important. So. Especially to us. Yes. That's going to bug me, so that's why I put it in there. Sorry. No, that's okay. I, no, I, don't zip it. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, Pam. You know, this is Pam's world. I'll just live in it. Thank you so much. <laughs> so those are our whips of the week. 
Yay! Yay! All righty. Okay, so. It is time for. It is time. It is time. Um, I don't know what that's from, but I think it's from. <coughs> um, I don't know. Anyway, okay. Da -da -da. <gasps> Promotions! I did it right. Yes, you did. Congratulations, Pam. Welcome to the Triple P, the promotional portion of the program. That's right. Where we talk to you about... Things we want to promote. Correct. And so this week is the Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week. That's okay. right. And uh, it, it, what that is, if this is the first time you've ever been here, uh, is uh, we've been working with the twins for numerous years at Twin Peak Primitives. Every week we pick a pattern that... They love, we love, everyone loves it. And then we think that maybe you will like it too. And then they discount it for by 20% and it is discounted for one full week for all of our amazing, amazing viewers. So, uh, this week's pattern of the week is what, Pam? Okay. So I'm going to address this comment to those of you who have been watching us through the years. Oh boy. One of my biggest guffaws yep bloopers if you will bloopers if you will but we didn't you know we didn't take it out yeah we don't cut out the bloopers we leave <laughs> the bloopers just right where they blooped you know was i was uh speaking patriotically <laughs> were you is that why about something um it, you were talking about the fabric that looks like it that has this the writing oh, on it oh the fabric that Starts yes, yes, the printed yes, yes, fabric yes, yes, that yes, starts, yes, 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 and yes, yes, instead yes. of saying what I should have said, yes, there are a few of you out there who remember this. Mm. I said, "We the PP," mm. and then we got laughing so, so hard, hard that we should have crying. taken it out, and we didn't. And this, why was, would we ever have taken that out? This was a few yeah, it years was early back. days. It was In early, early days. early days. It was just... And anyway, that's you, not to take to away... Say, what, I, what I meant to say was, We the people, people, which is the title of the pattern of the week, and yes. that is not to denigrate or throw shade at this piece. Oh, heck no, but it's but funny because... But that is immediately what I thought of. Yeah, because what a classic Pam and Steph moment. That's an iconic Pam and Steph moment, this was is, a We the People. Th this went on for months. Months. Year. We still have people that talk to us about it. Yes. <laughs> this this was... This and, was... You know, we had people that... I think between that, that was probably your most iconic moment, and mine was the F-bomb. Yeah, yeah. So We've, we've been there, people. You know, that's you know. what happens when you make videos for almost eight years. Yeah. So anyway. So anyway, the pattern of the all week. All that being said. The pattern of the week is called... We, we the, the people. people. Yes. I so, did it. Let's show them a photograph of we the people here. here. Yay. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. If you love their new patriotic book, which yes. was featured last, last week, week. Yep. It's uh, a great supplement to that. This is a great supplement addendum to that. Uh, it depicts, Addition. Yeah. <laughs> That's what addendum means. Thank you. <laughs> I literally said, this is a great supplement to that. And you went, yep, yeah, it's a great supplement. So, um, <laughs> stop. <laughs> so, echo, anyway, echo. it depicts, uh, Washington, yep, our first president, yep, um, and Benjamin Franklin, mm -hmm. and there is if you like all that and stuff, if you have Apple TV, and if you have Apple TV, Michael Douglas, Douglas is taking the part of Benjamin Franklin on Apple TV, and I think the first episode is out. Oh, is it? Maybe the whole series. Is I thought it came, I didn't come out till the twelfth, but okay, it's coming yep. if it hasn't arrived. A lot like the British King? Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas is coming as Benjamin Franklin. It's gonna be so. Good. If you know nothing about Benjamin Franklin, you need to watch. We haven't seen it yet, but that's something the that's the claim we're about, about to make. Benjamin Franklin. Uh, one if of all you know of him is the kite with the oh yeah lightning. the lightning. You then don't really know Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. He was something so good. else. So He's good. in a category by himself. Yes. 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 And so I'm so thrilled that the twins have picked him to uh, put in their piece. Yes. Along with Jordan. President Washington. And um, so if you love. Yes. We the people. Yes. As much as obviously Pam. 
<coughs> and the twins love We the People. What did you say to me? I said We the People. Yes, yeah. Um, then you would like to get your hands on a copy of We the People for 20% off. Then yes. you can uh, get a discounted PDF version of the Pattern of the Week from either the Twin Peak Primitives website or Etsy, uh, both of which are linked below. Uh, if you would prefer to have a hard copy of the Pattern of the Week, there is only one place that you can get it discounted, and that is the TPP Limited Editions Etsy. That's right. And so what I did last week, which is what I think I will continue to do, is in the description box, instead of just linking to, like, the general Etsy shop, right? I will link directly to the product listing. Yes. So then you can just click on it and go right there. So yeah. 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 That's what we'll do. So go ahead and pick that up. Yeah. It's a great piece. Yes. And we're heading into patriotic season. Yeah. I love it. I think every and, day is patriotic season, Pam. Yeah, I kind of do too, of course. So, anyway. Anyway, okay. Uh, that's... There's no mail call this week, which is fine. Correct. Yes. Oh, yeah, but we do have... A little bit of haul. A little bit of haul. Okay. Um, I need to pause it because I need to get something. Okay. Alrighty. So, haul. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. So, why don't you go oh, first since you oh. never have haul? Since I never have haul, and, and I, and I have so many questions about, about this. Why? I'm just confused as to why there's two. Just because she thought somebody might be more apt to want this version oh, I, versus this version. I literally read it as the same words, so oh, that's okay. why. Okay, never mind. So I'm done. Um, this isn't really haul because they offered it free. So sure. getting back to our friends over in Northern Kentucky, the Hathaway Stitchers, Aaron uh -huh. and Amity. Um, this is how I found them, was because Jen, Spoon and Running Stitcher, on Instagram, did a Insta story about these designs, and I yeah. think they are lovely. Now, Amity loves to stitch birds, first of all. Yes. Fact. Yeah. And, and so many people do, so. And so she designed this chart, and it's called Bird Herd. It is completely free. We'll link it. Yeah, oh yeah. We'll link it. Um, and brand new. And look at her color choices. Does she have an eye or what? And it's called Bird Herd. It's so cute. Here. So cute. So cute. Look at those colors. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Oh. And then she did a second version. The birds are the same, the color scheme is the same, but she changed the word herd to nerd, I which it. I think is hysterically funny. So there's nerd, bird nerd. So they're all printed out. Yes. Okay. Yes, please. So here is the deal. Yeah. So there is no Instagram page for Hathaway Stitchers. No. They have their individual Instagram accounts like Steph Just and like I we do. do. Okay. Right. Right. So Amity, right. who's the designer of the bird right. chart, right. her Instagram is called Boomerang Stitches. Right. So that's why the top of them. So that's why it says say, Boomerang Stitches yeah. up here. Yes. So when you go to... Um, her Instagram, you'll see the photograph yeah. of it there. So, yeah. um, and it's, it's just so good. Yeah. So, um, I do believe that she has like a direct, a direct link. Yeah. She's got a link tree, I think. Oh yeah. 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 Um, but yeah. I will, um, yeah, she'll, but I'll she'll link, link all the things. They're so. completely free and aren't they beautiful? They are amazing. Right. So yay for that. So that's, um, sort of. Quote unquote haul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, of course, new month means new Patreon charts from yeah. Teresa Kogut. Yep. And these are quite different and I think are open to a lot of different varieties of fabric and thread choices. Oh, for, for sure. For tier two, Those three, are and four. Um, this is Faith, Hope, Peace, and Love. And look at the color scheme that is in that. A pale, pale blue and a pale, pale cream. tan 
on cream, but you could do any number of things. Oh, for sure. Any number of things. So good. So that's for two, three, and four. Yep. Then tier three and four got Love and Charity. Mm. Same color scheme. And it says Love and Charity begins at home. Yep. This is sort of a band sample. Look at, I love mm -hmm. this band here. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. Yeah. Damn, she's talented. No kidding. Just saying. And this is Faith, tier four. Yep. Yeah. So, um, I think that these are lovely. And, of course, this is by far the best Patreon you can belong to. By far. There you go. For what you get. In the cross-stitch world. In the cross-stitch world. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's, that's obviously really haul. my, you know, half-assed haul because <laughs> I really didn't pay well, cash yeah. money. Well, yeah. yeah I yeah. did to belong to Patreon, but. Yeah. All right. Okay. So anyway, so my haul, just a couple things. Um, so last week. I showed this newer release from the Scarlet House called A Stitcher's Alphabet, and I love it. It's beautiful, all the things. Um, and I just kept thinking about it. Like, this isn't something that I am like, oh, I'm going to start this tomorrow. Right. Um, but I do love this finish on this board. And so I didn't want to go get... A year, two, three, four years down the road, and we pull it out of my stash and go, I really want to stitch this. The board's no longer available. So, um, so I wanted to grab the yeah, board. That's always smart. And so I did, and this is the board from April at Homestead Needleworks. We love April. Sorry yeah. about the glare of the plastic, but I'm not taking it out because mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm going to be using. So it. the picture shows the discs. At yeah, the, the little buttons at the top. Better than you can see them actually in real life right now, wrapped up. Yeah, but it's so well packaged. This mm -hmm. cute little thank you, like adorable. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I have. So, Scarlet House and Homestead Needleworks have a pretty great professional relationship, at least from my vantage point. Mm -hmm. And Scarlet House has done a handful of other designs using boards that April has made. And I have just about all of them so mm -hmm. um it's great 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 so i will link um and i will link the etsy where i got it below um and also i wanted to say that um i got the board size i don't know if you could see this but on the tag it says 32 36 so this board is cut specifically for this pattern stitched on either 32 count or 36 count. I obviously plan on stitching it on 36 count, yeah. um, but there is a different version that's for 40 count. Right. So just know that when you go shopping. Um, didn't you say at Lisa's last night that uh -oh. um, she changed her option with color and cotton, which we get every month. It's the only fabric club we belong to. Yeah. From 40 to 36. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, which I think was a smart move. Um, yeah. I just, we, we've been in it for a few years now. And so I, our, my stash yeah. of color and cotton 40 is great. So just know that you can do that with probably most fabric clubs. I would assume, but I don't know. Okay. And then, um, I, we all know that I love a patchwork project bag. Okay. Would it even be an episode of just keep stitching if I didn't show you Probably not. a patchwork project bag? Really? No. Um, and so this one I had, uh, so there's three roughly different makers of project bags, uh, patchwork bags that I follow pretty religiously on Instagram. So I'm always up to speed on what they are putting out. Um, and so, uh, my sweet friend, Michelle at Michelle Lee quotes, uh, she does an exceptional job. Um, I have a really beautiful Christmas project bag from her, this patchwork. And so I got a springtime one from her. So she is, um, on, uh, hmm. uh, I think she's like pseudo local. I don't think that she's like in Cincinnati, but I don't think she's very far, but so, uh, her Instagram is Michelle Lee quilts. And that is also her, um, Etsy as well, which I will, of course, link and uh so 
summer and thoughts I don't forget. So this is the spring patchwork bag I got from Michelle. Wow, that's pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. It's I love just all of the really bright colors. It's very happy. It's very spring. It's very I love this color purple at the top and then wait for you to see the back. Bam. It's so good. Are you awake yet? Morning. I love that background color. It's so gorgeous. So as soon as she posted that she was putting that, putting these up for sale, I set yeah. my alarm and got yeah. to work. So um, that is that's the t that's the ticket. People is setting an alarm. Yeah. And um, so yeah. So absolutely. That. So that's our haul. That is all of the haul for this week. Yeah. Add to cart. Okay. Okay, we have a couple of uh, very generous folks to thank. Yep. And uh, they have contributed either to the Buy Me a Coffee or the Kofi link mm -hmm. in our description box to support our channel and to help us out with framing, finishing, and postage expenses. Yes, ma'am. This is entirely voluntary. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, it, you know, it's just a matter of just throwing a little help our way that's yeah, exactly. all it is nobody is under any obligation to even think about it yes just wanted to make that clear um plans do you have any plans this week we, we didn't list off the names oh these are the two <laughs> jana thank you very much jana and someone who would like to remain anonymous there we go. Also, thank you very much. Good both of job, you. Pam. Oh, that was funny. That was really good. Uh, so, uh, plans. Do you have any plans? Do I have any plans? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, well, the Spirit Wars sale. Oh, what? yep. Big plans for Tuesday. What is happening Tuesday? Let really? You have no recollection of what's happening Tuesday. Is it stitching related? Nope. Oh. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to feel stupid when she tells me. It's uh, opening day at Fenway Park. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, my, we've been my, on the West Coast for the last 10 games. I actually gave up a meetup with one of my oldest friends in the world. She did. Because I need to be home for opening day. She sure did. On the TV. Yes. So um, we've been, we played. <laughs> that was funny. That was really good. We played in uh, Seattle. We played in Oakland. Oh, uh, anybody, do we have any viewers from Oakland? Can we just have a conversation about what's it happening? It was sad. The whole series oh, was Oh, it was sad. just, it was very sad. And then to go to Anaheim, yeah. which is where we currently are, um, it was like, okay, now we're playing Major League Baseball. Holy. Um, yeah. And if you, for there's probably just a handful of you that are big Red Sox fans that know. I'm a big Red Sox fan. Pam's a big Red Sox fan. And know that my favorite player is Trevor Story. So he took a pretty big tumble the other night at the game. Um, and so I think what's currently happening is best case scenario. So yeah. he has a dislocated shoulder. He's out for 10 days. And yes, I was yeah. not in a good place no. when it happened. <laughs> I was like. Because they're coming to Cincinnati at the end of June. And listen, if I don't get to see Trevor Story play baseball live, I will literally lose my mind. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, so anyway, so yeah. the it's going to be a, a really, really great day for people that are Red Sox fans. So right. on Tuesday. So yeah. um, it, this, it, it is. We have the latest opening day this year. Yeah. So everybody else has already had their home opener and we were pretty we, much, we yeah. had to be a part of the Mariners home opener. We had to be a part of the angels home opener. Yeah. Let's go home and celebrate us. Thank you so much. Thank you. So that's uh, on Tuesday. Uh, before we talk about plans, uh, anymore, I yeah. wanted to make sure that, uh, we talked just a little bit about our crockpot crew get oh, together yeah. last night. We didn't really mention it, so um, but we got together at Lisa's, uh, last night, had an yep. absolutely fabulous time. Uh, all of us were there this time, and uh, lots of laughs, great food. Yeah, um, it was wonderful. And uh, we um, are going to miss Lisa this summer. Yep. Um, Lisa, be in Minnesota. 
Lisa and Mark uh, bought a cabin, and when I say cabin, I mean cabin, baby. I don't even think they have indoor plumbing. Um, oh, I think they have indoor plumbing, Pam. I don't know. I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, they're going to go up and do kind of a, a mini trip next week. Yeah. And then they go up for the whole summer to get it. Yeah. To get it, uh, whatever needs renovating, whatever. Mark hasn't seen it yet. Lisa just bought it. Yeah, like that'd be great. Yeah. So, so um, she was telling me in the kitchen last night that um, they they bought a a drone, and oh, so wow. um, they're gonna launch the drone and take pictures I of the property and the building. Give cool. them an idea of what they're dealing with in True. terms of. You know, electric and I mean, it's rustic. So, oh, yeah, it's um, northern Minnesota. <laughs> yeah. So that's exciting. But we had a great, great visit. Yeah. Publicly thank Lisa. Absolutely. For hosting. Always have a great uh, time. Always have a great time. They're our peeps. It's so pretty uh, impressive that we all still love each other as much as we do. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Seven females. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. It's a great time. Um, also, I wanted to let everybody know that, um, look up, uh, Linda's Instagram. It's Stitchy Linda. Yeah. Cause, um. <laughs> That's what it is. Well, it, no, but, uh, for the date when the sal starts. Oh, oh, okay. Our friend, uh, Linda down in Florida, Stitchy Linda on in Instagram is starting a sal this month. I think it's the. Hold on. Yeah. Because. Okay. The one with the, yeah. I think it's the 17th. Can you just calm down for a second? <laughs> it's going to be the 25th. Oh, 25th. Because that's her birthday. Yeah, on her birthday. Um, and and it, then tomorrow they're doing a live on Instagram. Oh, maybe that's uh, Peter. Uh, it, well, no, okay. Uh, yeah, her friend Peter. Yes, her friend Peter and Linda will be doing an Instagram live tomorrow. All right, what are we the, talking about? We're yeah. talking about the four... Drawn thread pieces, designs that um, start with the word simply, and there's four of them for each season. Mm -hmm. So um, when I saw this, because if you know, if you saw my stash dive into my drawn thread collection, you know I have all four already. Obviously. And um, what I am going to do, well, first of all, these are the four, if you have never seen these. Simply Winter. Oh, here. Come on. Come here, Pam. Sorry. There you go. It's my favorite one. See? Simply Spring. With the robins. <laughs> so cute. Simply Summer. I love that beehive. And Simply Autumn. But... What Linda and Peter are going to do is they're going to do them all on one piece. Much like this. Much like that, but not exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm going to join in, and I'm going to do it just like the drawn thread picture on the back. And um, Steph is going to do the math for me to figure out how big my piece needs to be. Uh, and I'm going to so, join in. So, uh, what she says in her information, uh, is, uh, okay. So she says, um, I've had these in my stash for a while. Uh, okay. Um, so they picked the date. So starting on 425, which is Linda's birthday. Yeah. Um, and so tomorrow when they do the Instagram live, that's when they're going to talk about the differences and how they're changing it up a little bit, uh, four, eight at 7 PM Eastern. Um, and then they they are using a hashtag and the hashtag is good. simply awesome Sal. Oh, nice. So very generic, but good. Yes. We love it. Mm -hmm. So simply, but well, it's cause it's called simply summer, simply. Oh, I know. So, okay. So simply awesome Sal. Yeah. And then, um, so you can join it if you'd like to. She looks like she's got a lot of people that are interested. So that's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. So, love that. So, a little shout out to Linda yeah, and Peter. Yeah, I love that. And, uh... That's we'll, all I have. We'll see how that goes. Yes. Anyway, that's pretty much going to do it. It of is Of course, to tomorrow it. here, um, is... It's the solar eclipse. It's the solar eclipse. Mm -hmm. And, um, we are not in the 
path of I mean, we're complete... super, super close, though. It's going to get... It's going to look like dusk, I feel. Oh, I think I it's going to be dark. Cars are going to have their headlights on. Um, but... Um, okay. We'll she'll see. be at the shop. Yep. I'll be in my chair. Yeah. Um, and... You'll be closer to where it's in totality than I will be. You think? Yes. Okay. Um... But anyway, it's kind of a cool thing, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing. It's very cool. Um, Susan bought you guys all glasses. Glasses. Yep. yep. So, so I don't have glasses here. I probably had glasses when we were in Salt Lake last fall, but I don't know where I put them, if I okay. even kept them. Uh, well, we have uh, we had glasses from the Eclipse in Utah, but. That's what I was referring to, yeah, but yeah. I don't know what happened to my glasses from then. I don't either. Uh, and it didn't hardly even matter because it was so cloudy yeah, in Utah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so it yeah. was kind of a... But anyway, we all went outside. It was fun. Very true. Uh, so that's happening. So if you're affected by that, have fun with that. If you're affected by the sun at all, then <laughs> have fun. If you plan to do something special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy you know, it. Yeah. Let us know what it, you are doing or what you this do. This will be the last solar eclipse in probably your lifetime. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, I guess I should have paid more attention. <laughs> so when is the next? Uh, when Gee, talk about is, a Debbie Downer. Is the next solar eclipse in in forty four? In forty four. Twenty years from now, I will not be around. I can. I mean, let's not too. say that. I will not be around. So I would enjoy this one. <laughs> So you, you know, just I did not plan accordingly. Just in case you're in a nursing home in 20 years. <laughs> anyway, so uh, happy solar eclipse. Yeah. If uh, you plan to participate or observe it, I should say, not participate. How would you participate? And if this says that astronomy fans in the U.S. will have far fewer opportunities to see the 2044 eclipse than the upcoming one on April 8th. Why? Because the line of totality was not going to... This is a better line this is of a totality? Better, yes, it is. Oh. Yep. Everything you ever wanted to know about it. <laughs> Why you watch Floss Tube, right? All right. Well, that's going to do so, it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, have a good one. Enjoy the moon and the sun and the stars. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you here back uh, next week. Yes. Go grab that We the People. Yes. People. Do it. Do it. All right, everybody. We love you. We love you all, and have a great week. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.